Bladder 533. I am the Noahide Messiah. I am the Noahide Prophet. I am the Noahide Chosen One. I'm actually just doing what God wants. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm a, I'm going to probably be getting popular soon enough because I'm going on with eternal life on earth, and people will know me soon enough. It'll take probably a few decades. I'm 47, but in a few decades and a number of decades from now, you'll notice that I'm not a, I'm not really aging. It's pretty much come to its conclusion the aging process. And people will gradually work out from what I'm teaching and stuff that I'm, uh, I'm not really the Noahide Messiah or the prophet or the chosen one, but God does actually use me. Um, I don't really have any delusions of grange. I'm just Daniel Daly, who lives a 29 member in Crescent, ordinary bloke. I'm just an ordinary average guy. Like Joe Walsh, I'm just an average ordinary guy. Okay? I'm just a regular guy. But I am quite religious because I because because it because I like it. I I just like the Bible. It, it it's uh, like rapidly a Jew in Canberra says, you know, the religion suits me. It just suits me. I just I like the stuff. I, it, it it it's a fix which gets me there as well. You know, people have their fixes, and it's a fix which gets me there. It, it does it for me. It's the stuff which does it for me. Um, I, uh, Dan, Dan, the biblical man, I like to study the Bible, you know, it's, it's my saying, it's, it's my thing. As a Christian, I was diehard as well, and uh, it's my thing, I like this stuff. This, this is my life, it's what I like, you know, I, I like this stuff. Some people can't stomach it, I like it. Now, what, what I'm, what I'm sort of saying and saying is that... <sighs> Nice and dramatic. This is a nice and dramatic bit. We're at a, what is it? What's the word? A threshold. As the twenty-first century continued, humanity was a threshold. A new prophet rose up to spark the expanding world. God was ready for the pioneer spirit to reemerge, and off I go with the new land. As he expands the world, and why is he doing this? Because, because says Edgar the Goat, the population started to get on a bit, and Daniel was correct in his his, his assumption in the end, his his thought that world population is actually actually economically it is set on permanent growth. Actually, it doesn't plateau and stay the same. It's actually permanently on growth. The, the gross domestic product does actually, the GDP does actually increase permanently. Yes, there's a, yes, David Koch will summarize, uh, yes, it down a bit, the hour down a bit, up it rises, yeah, right, and it keeps on going up. Yeah, yes, yeah, there's always uh, surpluses and, and deficits and uh, growth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good share of this, but uh, there's always a population increase. And, um, it's a natural thing for human society, the human society's numbers to increase, for the population to grow. And because we're uh, on a finite planet, you do the math. Need more land. Need someone to let people know what's going on. God also needs people to know that there's an eternal life on Earth option available, but it always was, technically. But the tree of life actually is available. It always was a goer. Uh, the promises of the Lord are indeed probably indeed life and death. And that the heaven there's a heavenly mirror made for earth every every year. And they the world is now now to grow as well. Heaven will have its corresponding growth as well. God's expanding his project.